Hello Galaxy, I'm Chris Perillo, and I'd be curious to know if you want me to reboot the podcast, because I've seen a few of you ask if I'm going to do a podcast, even though I'm still doing videos on a daily basis, largely based upon the topics you want me to cover, technology, and I'm still doing the live TLDR broadcast in the other YouTube channel at youtube.com slash LockerGnome. That's about an hour long every day, and it's mainly an AMA, a Q&A with you and me, so that allows you to dictate the content that I'm able to give to you. But what about a podcast that allows you to call in? And it's easy for me to produce. It's one of the reasons I stopped doing the podcast. I was doing podcasting before podcasting was a thing. Like, we understood very clearly what the power of RSS was, which is the foundation of podcasting. Effectively using an MP3 in an enclosure tag would allow someone to subscribe to the podcast and have that audio file, or at one time, a video file, pushed to your device in whichever podcast client you chose to use. And there weren't a lot of them way back when. I don't even know if there are many of them these days. Do you even listen to podcasts? Like, I, I don't even know if, if you're interested at all. But here's the idea. Uh, it's push button simple. Like that that's what thrills me. Like I am not interested in getting mired in you know all sorts of complexities just to give you the things that you want. I mean, I want to give you the things you want, but I got to make it easy for me too. Like it's easy to press a button and listen, but when it comes to podcasting, it's not that simple. Like typically not that simple, and that's really kept me from going the route of rebooting the podcast. But I, uh, I, I'm going to do it. I, I'm going to try it. And I'm going to hope that you are just as interested as I am. Effectively, I found an app a little while ago called Anchor. It's free. It's cross-platform, primarily mobile, which these days means iOS and Android. Uh, and with Anchor, I press a button, I talk, and then I press a button. Actually, I swipe up in order to, you know, keep talking and have it like virtually held down, but that's, you know, just a detail on my end. And then it gets published to, to my anchor feed as well as to a podcast feed, which is now being submitted to all the major podcast places that I know of. And you may know of one that I don't know of. So either way, uh, I did the, the first podcast, which was just kind of setting the stage for my thoughts behind doing this podcast. But the crux of the podcast is different from the crux of the videos that I'm providing in this channel. Largely uh, a talking head video, me talking about a topic that I want to talk about. Uh, right now I want to talk about podcasting in general and, and, and where I believe it is, where I believe it's going, what's kept me from it, etc. Um, and, and doing some kind of call-in format I think is fascinating. Again, keeping it like we do the Locker Room Daily Report, though that's done live in video, uh, largely based on your questions. And AMA, you can ask me anything, which does not mean I'm going to answer everything. It just means that you have an opportunity to have your voice literally heard, so long as you, know, you are clear in a asking your question uh, because you gotta give me context. Uh, that, that's sometimes what's missing. Ask interesting questions, questions that, you know, you are certainly looking for an answer to, as well as questions that may benefit the greater community. And yeah, I'm guessing that with y'all, the, the foundation is going to be technology, but also understand, you know, I'm open to answering other questions as well. It doesn't always have to be tech. I'm more than one topic. I am Chris Perillo. So the name of the podcast is quite simply... Chris Perillo, like the Chris Perillo show is, you know, too many words, right? But you always seem to search for Chris Perillo. So that's the title of the podcast that you can now subscribe to. So long as, again, it's uh, in your current podcast client, that the, the submission form is possibly going to take a, a few days. But you can now listen to it on anchor.fm. To my knowledge, the only way to submit call-ins for the show is to subscribe to it on Anchor and you know, effectively press the call-in button. Call-in, right? Oh, I'm so excited. I, uh, I remember 
in the in the days of live dot perillo dot com. Do you remember that? I had the little phone here and I and I put out the number and y'all called in and we interacted. It was live. It was a lot of fun. I, I really I miss those days. And while a twenty four seven stream, as I alluded to in yesterday's live TLDR broadcast, uh, those 24-7 days are never coming back for a lot of reasons. Uh, I, I really enjoyed the live interactivity of Collins, and we won't have the live interactivity w with the podcast uh, as much unless I have a, a guest that I'm able to bring in, but at least we have that, that dynamic call-in, and, and um, I have a chance to listen to the sound of your voice because Lord knows... <laughs> Listening to my voice, ah, oh, man, you deserve a medal for that, honestly. Uh, but at least you don't have to look at me, right? Yeah, except for my, like, you know, thumbnail if you want to stare at that. But a lot of people listen to podcasts when they're commuting. Um, some people, as, as I've suggested, if, if you don't want to, um, you know, watch a video I do, but you want to listen, just turn it on and keep it in the background. You can do that if you have YouTube Red, one of the reasons why I love YouTube Red. Uh, you know, you can play videos in the background. The best $10 I spend every month, no doubt in my mind. Um, but, you know, as, as far as a podcast is concerned, uh, y again, for me, it comes down to simplicity and, and clarity and, and giving giving you something that you're not able to get anywhere else. And mind you, now I'm, I'm talking about effectively creating, potentially, depending on the day, almost Two hours worth of content, <laughs> different content in, in different places. Because, you see, again, you can't put it in one place. So there is a value to doing podcasts. I, I, uh, I was always interested in the possibility, but never before have I found a simpler way of getting it done. Um, and, and people have always pegged me as, uh, you know, someone who is a, is a producer. And, yes, I produce video, but I don't edit video as much. I don't like it. I definitely don't want to edit audio. I'm, I'm not interested. Uh, I just want done. Press and go. I don't want to go back and edit out the uhs and ums and ahs. That to me makes it human. That, that makes it realistic. You know, you, you know, an overly produced or an overly polished show seems so sterile. Like I've had this conversation with Diana and I actually, the first edition of the podcast I did last night, I did it in the car, and Jedi was in the car. It was so awesome. But the audio quality turned out to not be good because I forgot that I can't be charging my phone at the same time. Otherwise, this background chirping noise happens. Oh, maybe you're interested in hearing that one. If you are, maybe I'll... Maybe I'll share that in an unlisted capacity and put that link in the in the in the video's description. Just as a bonus for everybody who listened this far, because it was good. You just got to put up with not so great audio quality. Um, but Diana uh, had said, "Well, you know, I'm always worried when you're recording something that you know there's going to be a noise or, or, or Jedi is going to start doing this, that, or the other thing." And I, I said to her, "You know, I think that's that's awesome. I don't mind doing that, especially if I'm not planning on." you know, doing an edited video and you have to be really careful with audio because to me, it personalizes it more. It, it makes me more human. Uh, that's life. That's, that's how it happens. Life happens in an unscripted capacity. And I always find myself more connected with someone on the other side of the screen when they appear more human and less staged. It's one of the reasons why I love doing live. So you can expect the podcast to be done in a similar capacity to the videos uh, that I've been doing, the, the live videos or even these live to tape videos. Uh, you know, just It's just raw me talking about the things that you want me to talk about. So I'm interested. I'm, I'm uh, personally interested, but it's only going to work if you are interested. So you got to let me know. Are you interested? You got to follow me on Anchor because that's the only way to do the call in. Uh, yeah, you've got to let me know which podcasting clients you prefer, how you listen to podcasts, where you listen to podcasts, you know, maybe even what podcasts you listen to. People ask me uh, very frequently, what podcasts you listen to? I'm like, I I'm not usually a, a consumer, but most of my podcasts, going to be honest with you, Star Wars. Uh, and if it's not Star Wars, then it's This American Life. I, d I don't listen to a lot of tech podcasts because... I listen and I'm like, okay, I, I, I'm compelled to listen for a topic on a, on a, a one-off basis, but subscribing to, to something that I already know and I already understand isn't as compelling for me. 
I, I know Star Wars. I love Star Wars. This is my fandom. But it's different when I revel in this fandom versus talking about a, a, a topic that I, I already understand and hearing people regurgitate the things that I already understand. From my aspect, uh, is not as compelling. It's not as thrilling. You know, I understand that subject matter, but I, it's different from my, my uh, fandom. Tech is not my fandom, but I understand it may be yours, kind of, if you consider yourself a fan of tech. I, I still don't understand what that label means. Someone's yet to define it for me. I, I understand the value, but to me, it's it's uh, it's an enabler. Technology is an enabler. Like tech is in everything. You can't, you cannot possibly be a fan of everything. You can't. You could, but man, that's that's weird. And when you got Chris Perillo saying that's weird, you know it's weird. So, there you go. Uh, hopefully you uh. You're with me on this one, on this on this journey as we continue forward, cross-platform, talking about all the things that you want to talk about. Thanks again for tuning in. That was not product placement. It was just, it was time for me to take a sip of the green tea. I love you. I appreciate you. And may the force be with you. <laughs>